Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time visiting this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and also hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. Today we're going to talk about how to master code inversions. It is extremely important to know all your code inversions and also know all your major chords and all the minor chords. So why are inversions important? The inversions are important because once you know your inversions for each chord, you don't have to move your hand all over the piano when you're playing a chord progression. So let's take, for example, the uh, chord of C major. So this is the root position of C major. C, E, G. So let's say I, I take the C from here and then I play it an active higher. So this is my first inversion which is E on top, we have G in the middle, and then we have C. So first inversion, and the second inversion of C major is, I will take the E from here and put it on top. So now we have G, C, E. So this is the same C major chord, but the second inversion. So C major root position, first inversion, second inversion, and back to C major root position. So we have 12 keys on the piano, which means we have 12 major chords and also 12 minor chords. So each chord have three forms. We have the root position, we have the first inversion, and the second inversion. So we have 12 major, 12 minor, that's 24 chords, and each chord has three types of forms. So when you times that by 24 times 3 equals 72 forms of chords that we have to learn on the piano. So if you can master all those 72 forms, then it's going to be very easy for you to play chord piano. So this was C major. Now let's take F major. So this is the root position, F, A, C. So first inversion, you just have to take the F, the first note, and you put it on top. So an active higher. So. This is the first inversion of F. So which means A, C, F. So the second inversion will be, we have to take the A from here and play it an active higher. So this is F, second inversion. And then we back to F major root position. So, root position, first inversion, second inversion, and back to the root position. So, each chord on the piano has the first inversion and the second inversion. So, let's take C minor. So, this is C minor, root position, C, E flat, G. So the first inversion of C minor, we'll have to play the C an active higher. So this is the first inversion of C minor, which is E flat, G, C. Second inversion will be, we take the E flat and we play it an active higher. So now we have C minor, second inversion. So G, C, E flat. And back to C minor, the root position. So 
So it's extremely important guys to know all the major chords and all the minor chords and also try to memorize the first inversion and the second inversion of each chord. So let's say we take G major. So I want you guys to think about it. What's the first inversion of G major? Yes, so you'll have to take the G and you play it an active higher. And the second inversion of G major, you will have to take B and you play it an active higher. And then we are back to the root position. And also, when, once you know your inversions, you are able to play the same chord. Uh, you can do runs with the, with the same chord by playing the root position, the first inversion, and the second inversion, like... So, if you guys don't know your major chords and your minor chords, I have a video that shows you how to find all your major chords and also all the minor chords. And now all you have to do is learn the first inversion of each chord and the second inversion. So any chord that you play on the piano, it could be C major, F major, G major, or it could be D major or E major. So the way you find the first inversion is you take the first note and you play it an active higher. So in that case, this is E major. So E major first inversion, I will take E and play it an active higher. So first inversion of E major. Second inversion, I'll take the A flat and play it an active higher. So now we have E major second inversion. And then we are back to E major root position. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. So remember, we have 12 keys on the piano, which means we have 12 major chords and 12 minor chords. And each chord have three forms. So we have the root position, we have the first inversion, and the second inversion. So we have 24 chords in total and three forms of each chord, which means 72 forms of chords that you have to learn and you have to memorize. And once you know all these forms, you can play chord piano, you could do a lot of runs, and you are not limited on the piano. So thank you guys for watching. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And also hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.